So with the iPhone 15 Pro, the question has to be asked, how many megapixels are enough? Because, you know, there are all sorts of smartphones out there. Samsung S24 Ultra with 200 megapixels. Is 200 the new standard? I don't know. It's one of those questions where you don't really know the answer until you look down the road a couple of years from now. Now, I have been playing around with Android smartphones that have 100 megapixels and 200 megapixels. And what I keep coming up with is this. You don't really need 200 megapixels or even 100 megapixels. And most people will shoot less if not only to save space because they honestly cannot tell that much difference. Now, if you're a pixel peeking, peeping nerd like myself, you know, where pixels do actually matter. And I've done a bunch of videos where I actually compare images from, you know, the high resolution cameras. I still have to say that it's very rare that I'm actually grateful that I shot something in you know, high resolution. So with the iPhone 15 Pro, you still get that wonderful 48 megapixel uh, sensor, but it's not just the 48 megapixel. It's also the fact that you can shoot raw, that you can get excellent low light performance because of the, A, the algorithms, but also the sensor size. Like sensor size and the algorithms, they matter more these days than the actual amount of megapixels. Now the megapixel debate has been ongoing for the last 10 years and there are a majority of people who are saying that megapixels do not matter at all. Now I'm not completely 100% on that because there are situations, like I said, when you're doing advanced work, where you're cropping in on your images and stuff like that. But here's the kicker. When you're doing professional work, you're not going to use a smartphone, okay? You're going to be using something like a professional mirrorless camera, like the one that I'm shooting with now, and you will still get more image quality, even though it might only record in 12 or 24 megapixels. So on an iPhone that shoots in 48 megapixels, it's cool, it's really impressive, and down the line, if you look at old photos, you'll be happy that you had 48 megapixels maybe, but... I still believe that megapixels don't matter as much as one would think. It's matter of, you know, there's so much more that consists of what makes a good picture. Numero, numero uno is, of course, the photographer. So if you practice your photography skills, you will get a hell of a lot better pictures than you would if you have a Samsung S24 Ultra with 200 megapixels. Now, on the iPhone 15 Pro, you also get the feature of taking pictures in 24 megapixels, which is a very good, um, I would say, compromise when it comes to speed, when it comes to storage, because, you know, 50 megapixel photos, they do take up a lot of space. But with 24, it's, um, it's a sweet spot. You know what I mean? It's a very good sweet spot. And so for my money's worth, I think that the iPhone 15 Pro takes hands down the best pictures and videos the only smartphone that I would say takes better pictures is the latest Pixel Pro phone. Those phones take spectacular photos. But when it comes to video, I would still say hands down to the iPhone 15 Pro. Okay, that's all I have for today. Just wanted to share my thoughts on the whole megapixel debate. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.